Hey beautiful biscuits, how's your day gone? I hope it's going beautifully and I kind of bet it's being impacted by inflation and the cost of living prices that have gone up, the cost of just everything, whether it's a luxury or a needed item, everything is going up. And I thought I would talk about, should you just kind of quit traveling this year because of inflation? So this year I was really looking into traveling some more again which we haven't done extensively since like 2019 was the last time I really did that. And then there was the pandemic and we've done a couple trips. Um, we did a month away in winter, <clears throat> which was not a far, a super far away destination. So I didn't count it as huge travel. Um, and we've done some little short trips here and there, but really very little in comparison to what we would normally be doing as a family because we love to prioritize experience over things. And let me tell you, the price of things is so high right now. So I definitely notice <clears throat> in the last three years, a big price increase in uh, ticket prices for airlines. And I've noticed that the quality has really gone down. Even less of them are allowing checked bags as part of your ticket price. And that if you're doing like a good budget deal on a ticket, that can like almost double your ticket price if you need to check a couple bags. If you are a fabulous Instagram influencer that travels with gowns, <laughs> me, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Okay, busted. <laughs> um, I almost fell off the bed laughing there, so we'll decide if I'm gonna edit that out. Um, I've noticed a big increase in that. I would say where to stay, everything's gone up in cost, um, but especially where I used to find really good deals on vacation rentals by owners. Those have gone up a ton in the last three years. Absolutely huge. Um, I used to have a like 40 to $50 night a maximum that I'd wanna spend on um, accommodation if I was gonna be where, somewhere for more than like a week or two and then add in food and stuff. Like, you know, you can really budget if you're gonna stay in a room in somebody's house, right? Um, those things aren't quite available. My family's growing, so like my budgeting priorities have kind of changed a little bit but I just see inflation everywhere. So I would say if you kind of just have an itch to travel and you don't really want to go somewhere in particular, I would look at kind of off brand destinations that maybe weren't your first thought that might have a better deal. I would look at road trips. Um, you can get a lot of your uh, wanderlust out by doing road trips, uh, by doing short little excursions. Um, if you're in the US, I would avoid doing domestic destinations. I am finding that ticket prices and hotel accommodations are more than if I wanted to go to places in Europe or if I wanted to go to places in South America. Um, shockingly, so you may actually find a better deal with all this inflation if you go overseas. Um, US right now is just kind of a crazy season for prices. so. Like I was thinking about visiting family this summer and I've like, I've decided not to because to see them for like a week is the same cost if I wanna go for like a month to a European destination that I had in mind. So really compare destinations if you wanna travel. Um, yeah, I think with inflation, if you don't really wanna travel, if you aren't um, traveling for work, I might put it off for a year if I'm being totally honest. Uh, which shocks me to say, cause I'm normally like a gung ho go do it, but it really feels like people are taking advantage of pricing right now. And it's super hard to find a good deal. Um, my sister is in Greece and France this summer and she's finding all sorts of costs that are like just, just shocking. And she's a world traveler. She travels all over. It's kind of amazing. So do you want to give up traveling for inflation? I think there's always workarounds to find good deals. I think this year is not the year to expect really great deals in travel. I'm just not seeing them. Um, and the people I'm talking to that travel are not seeing them either. If you have points, this is a great year to use that to try and take advantage of it because the prices are so high on everything. If you can do unorthodox travel, this is a great year for that. Camping, glamping, road trips, van life, um, are all ways to, you can do woofing, which is where you work on a farm while you travel to stay for free. Unorthodox travel, I think this is a great year for that. Traditional, like luxury travel, it's costing a ton this year. 
if it's a priority, absolutely. Life is short. Like I really think that experiences for you and your family are so much more valuable than, you know, having to have the latest TV, having to have a brand new car. Um, it's definitely things that I prioritize in my life is experiences, but this year I'm not as gung-ho in travel because the deals just aren't there because inflation is crazy everywhere. Keep in mind, food inflation is going to be different country to country. So you may end up saving on your food budget, even if the airline tickets are more, depending what country you're going to. So you really have to take everything into consideration. I will say I've noticed that rental car prices have come way down. Like last year, year and a half ago, they were peaking at insane prices. And I would say they've come down like sometimes 70, 75% in different places. Um, so car rentals are a little bit more budgety friendly. Um, but tell me in the comments, have you had a trip planned this year? Or you wanted to plan a trip this year and you're just like, not right now. Inflation is too crazy. Or you still gung-ho for the travel wonder last year. You have passport, will travel. Let me know. I'm going to see you over on Patreon this month for a luscious month of finding our alignment with our inner being. Mm, it is such a good month to be over on Patreon. I'll see you there, my biscuits.